Okay. I've just had to restart this video because Doug's been uh, slowing. We thought he was having a stroke. Uh, mind you, probably shouldn't say that, should I? Um, listen, this is a question here. Are you interested? Yes, I'm listening. You don't, don't look like you are. I just want have to look at you do all the while because I don't really want to. This is a question from. Uh, I just say we're putting my fingers down my throat, but my throat. I don't really want my. I don't want your fingers down my throat. Dave, if he wants to get annoyed, can he put his fingers down your throat, please? Yeah. <laughs> like the old days. Yeah. Right, Doug. That's funny. as Ricketts, isn't he? Listen. Um, I'm listening. This is from Two Yards. He's a he's a he's a YouTube channel favourite. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. Thanks, Carl. Could you ask Doug yeah. if there is a way to dis decrease the risk of the drill bending? You know when you're drilling Patrick's um, base yes. from the bridge? Yes. I had, it, yes, of course there is. Hang on. I had this issue issue time ago when drilling string drill, drilling string through body holes on a Telecaster. Thank you very yes. much. Yes. It always happens. The only way to, to decrease that, and you can decrease it, is by going very slow and keep taking the drill bit out. Okay. And keep going slow, very slow. So what what would make it? I remember you saying when we did that. Make a jig. No, but you said that it might sometimes bend down. But why? Yeah, it can. You can get it to. You will, it will find. You can be drilling a straight hole through yeah. a guitar body to get the wire in yeah. to the hole. Yeah. Right, and it'll it'll the, the drill might just suddenly make it uh, bend and come out the back. Do you think that'll probably probably because it hits some very sort of, uh, bits of dense wood. wood? Yeah. Yeah, hits yeah. harder bits of wood. So and it finds the softest way. The drill will always find the easiest way through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hence going slow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, you know, we've answered that question for uh, what's it doing two yards. So I reckon we'll go on to another question. Okay. Can't make yeah, just go very slowly or make a jig that the drill will sit in. I've made one for Telecasters. Okay. There. I've used, right. I've used this, I've made pack solid one. Right, so as long as you drill the holes in line, yeah. and it's got it's it's over a quarter inch thick, look, seven mm. or eight a mil, uh, the drill will go through there and it'll get you've got all your holes in line then. For the yeah. back of Telecasters or straps. Yeah, but that—that's—I that's, think he, he was talking about drilling through through lengths of wood. No, he was saying through the string the strings coming through. If you're going through long lengths, well, I wonder why you'd have issues going just drilling such short holes. It, it's it, no, you still will. Will you? Yeah, yeah. All oh, right. It still can come out all sorts of places if it hits hard, harder sections of wood. It'll yeah, go yeah. through the softest bits. Yeah, good, good point actually. Even if it's only an inch and a quarter thick. Yeah. Yeah, good point. Yeah. See, so on the back you might end up like with uh, very uneven looking holes, That's spacing right. yeah. holes spaced. Happens to the best of us. Um, I don't include myself in that. <laughs> what is that? Because you use the word best. Yeah. You and the word best don't. No, they, uh, don't. they don't comply. Uh, oh, we've done the twisted neck thing. Uh, somebody, somebody said here. This this is from uh, Mike James from five months ago. Yeah. This was from a video that we did reshaping a custom tele telecaster neck from a C to a V shape. Yeah. You know when you get on the neck and you with the rasp, you go. <laughs> it looks quite. Uh, quite aggressive. aggressive yeah. yeah. Is it possible to make the guitar neck width more narrow, like forty millimeters width at the nut? So I assume he's thinking, with the frets on and everything. Yeah, that's the only reason he asked that question because obviously. So he's probably thinking you've got a forty-two millimeter yeah, wide. Yeah. Use that file. No, what I mean is that's an engineer's file, so it'll go through metal. No, but you'd have to take you have, to take, have to take the frets off. No, and you don't. As good as rebuild the uh, reshape the, no, you don't. the width of the frets. I'm just telling you, you don't. You think so? What so, do you mean? I think so. I've done it. So Loads of times. If he's talking about here at a four so if you've got a 42 mil net with frets in there, yeah, and up there, you're going to have to be careful up here. But you've got to keep it all in a line. Yeah. But you do it slowly with one of these engineers' files that will go through metal. Oh, so you would actually um, take a, a mill off either, either side. Yes. Would you, so would you do it like vertically? Can you just show us how you would on, do it on that? Well, place? there's no frets in this, but like that. Yeah. You'd put the guitar. So, and this bit up here, yeah. it'll be in the body, yeah, yeah. so you'd have to do it that way, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you'd have to protect the body with some yeah. metal sheeting. That's correct, yeah. So that that doesn't file through. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and you go that way, yeah, yeah. all the way down, and then there you go like that. Oh, nice. Okay, carefully. 
Ah. It's, it's not a quick job. You can't go like a bigger potato with it, like that. You've got oh. to do it carefully. I'll tell you what, I never would have thought that would have been possible. I would have thought it would uh, yeah. have been a new, new neck job. And there's a, a wider file for the same thing. And these are metal cutting files, but it's the same thing. It's nice and wide and smooth. It doesn't take a lot off. Okay. You're only taking section little bits off. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's best to get it right the first time before you put the frets in, really. But if it's an existing guitar you've bought with frets, yeah. that you want to make it thinner, you can do. Yeah, 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 I get that. Yeah, that's not bad, not bad. Uh, you know what, I think... Um, I'm just talking through the detritus of what Dave's got me. I've got Johnson. loads of Johnson pencils. Pencil sharpness. Have you bought in this box? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, pencils. Not much in there, what? Three, three pe pens and a rubber? Well, the, this was, this. I've been emptying this all bloody day. I can say it's full. a bit of a big box for what you bought in. It was full. Are all those yours as well? Ah, OK. I've yeah. all done paintbrushes. Paintbrushes and all sorts. Have you stopped calling in then? What's going on? You keep avoiding the place in case you're here. Have you stopped doing your paint by numbers with crayons? Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. then, um, I don't know about this video. I'm not really feeling it. I think it's, it's okay. one of the worst we've done probably. Okay. Yeah. Let's, 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 cut let's, it out then. Yeah. Cut it off. No, we'll just cut stop. it out. We'll stop this and we'll start again. <laughs> okay. uh, in fact, I've, just I've been reminded of a good one to do now. Yeah. Go on, so I'll say goodbye. Don't say goodbye, just do another question. No, cause See if you can retrieve this video. No, because people people only watch like three or four minutes of each video, so they like to have oh, attention lots, span depth, lots of little videos. Yeah. Okay. So hold it right there. Or oh, say, no, we'll say goodbye for this video. Yeah? Well, piss off then. <laughs>